Hey guys, Mrs. Sutton here, your instructor. And guess what? It's about that time for one of my famous demos. Stay tuned. I'll see you on a few. Okay. So, at this moment, I will be giving you guys a shampoo draping demonstration. Many times when your client comes in, the professional way to do things is to protect your client's clothing with a shampoo drape. Um, this client here has on a regular t-shirt, so I don't have to worry about turning her collar down. But if she had on a collar shirt, I would have to worry about turning her collar, collar down. Now, my client has on no jewelry, but if my client had on jewelry, I would ask my client, uh, ma'am, can you uh, remove your earring? Or, you know, can you move your necklace if it's in a way that's too bulky for the shampoo bowl? Now, the one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have a clean terry towel and I'm going to have a clean shampoo case. So what I would do is I would take my towel, fold my towel like so, and I want to make sure that I fold my towel in a way that place my towel around the client's neck like this. I don't want it to be too snug. Then I'm going to take my shampoo cake, which is a, a little on the thicker side. And when I take my shampoo cake, I'm going to place it around my client, making sure that it's not too tight. And I can ask my client, is this too tight? No. I want to make sure that my shampoo cake is not touching my client's neck. Because if it's touching my client's neck, what's going to happen is my client will be at risk for some type of skin breakage or rash or anything like that depending on the cleanliness of the shampoo case. Okay guys, I just went over the regular shampoo break. I now have a client that come in and she's in the need of a haircut. So I'm going to show you the haircut draping for just a regular haircut and then I'm going to show you the chemical draping. So this client is coming for a regular haircut, nothing else. So if I was just doing the haircut portion, I would need a neck strip and a thinner cape, which um, just for haircut and nothing too thick like the shampoo case. I would take my neck strip and I would place around my client's neck. See how I took my finger and kind of nudged my client to move her neck up. Then I would take my cape the place around my client making sure making sure that the cape does not touch the client's neck again if you lift up my client's neck you will see that that's my neck strip and that's my cape and then I would just kind of like fold it down around on the neck strip and then I could spray the client's hair with the water and then proceed with the client's haircut. So, here we are again. This time my client is wanting to get a relaxer research service. So what I'm going to do right now is demonstrate how to drape your client for the relaxer research service. So what you're going to need is you're going to need two towels. Two clean towels. You're going to need a clip. And you're gonna need a thick cake, a waterproof cake, because you don't want the chemical to get on the client's skin. My client, again, has no collar on, but if she did have a collared shirt on, we would turn her collar in like so. And if she had on dangling earrings, necklace, or any kind of jewelry like that, we will ask our client to remove their jewelry. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my towel and fix my towel to go around my client's neck. I can come this way if I want, making sure, I just want to make sure that that neck is covered and that that cape is not touching that client's neck. 
Then I'm gonna come back behind that with the thicker chemical cake, shampoo cake. And then I'm going to place the chemical cake on the client, making sure again that it's not touching the client's neck. And then I will need another towel. This is to create a barrier that will tell me, okay, for sure, nothing is gonna get through here. The one thing that we don't want to do to our client when draping our client is we do not want to have our client to close, messed up. We don't want the chemical to be dripping through the client's clothes and things like that. So this is your chemical draping for your client's towel, chemical cake, and then towel.